Office 2010 Complex Functions 1. In this clip we're going to have a look at the nested if function. The simple if statement that we used earlier allowed you to display one of two results. If however you need to test more than two conditions, you'll have to use the nested if statement. In this example we're going to assign a level level 1, 2, 3 or 4 to the members of a book club according to how many books they have reviewed throughout the year. So here's our table that we're going to be working according to and usually this will be um, in your exam paper and not necessarily con in your spreadsheet itself. Okay so let's have a look here we've got 0 to 5 books that will give you a level 1 rating, 6 books will give you a level 2 rating, 9 books level 3 and 12 or more books level 4. So we're going to start off with our if statement here. Equals if, open your bracket, select the cell that you want to test, in this case C2. And I like working my way from the top down, so I'm going to start with the greater than equals to 12 section. So I'm using this section over here. So I'm going to test to see whether C2 is greater than or equals to 12, comma, if it is greater and equals to 12, then this person is on a level 4. Okay. Now, usually at this point in a normal if statement or simple if statement, we'll just say comma and we put, would put in the value um, if that statement was false. But we still have three more values to deal with. So we actually now need to insert another if statement. So we're going to, instead of putting in a value for false, we're going to add another if, open bracket, and we're going to do our next test. Okay, so now we're going to test the same cell, but now I'm going to test to see whether it's um, 9 books or more, so greater than equals to 9. If it is, then they're on level 3. Okay, and now we still have two more values to complete, so we need one more if statement here. Okay, and now we're going to test to see whether it's greater than or equals to 6, because that's our next level. Comma, if it is, then they're on level 2. Okay, and the last part now, the only one that's left is level 1. So we don't need to add yet another condition here. We can just type in, okay, if none of the preceding ones are true, then they must be level 1. It's important to close all your brackets, although Microsoft Office will probably warn you if you haven't closed all your brackets. And then just press Enter. And then you can use your autofill function to copy that function down.